Hey everyone, it's John Morley and welcome to my channel, Positive Vibrational Waves. Uh, thank you once again for stopping by. If you are new to my channel, of course, welcome. If you are a longtime subscriber, then of course, welcome back. It's always great to have new subscribers as well as uh, old subscribers come back and keep checking on my content. I'm so glad that my information is uh, changing the quality of your life in a positive way. And as I promised you tonight, I want to talk more about affirmations as you may or may not know, but every week we have a theme and this whole week is about affirmations. So a theme that I want to talk about tonight in affirmations is a different type of affirmation, one that may not be as um, obvious as you probably imagined, and that's called the I am affirmations. So why are the I am affirmations so positive? Well, sometimes when you're writing affirmations or thinking about affirmations, you're thinking about something in the future, and depending on how you're putting it down, you want to put it down as a present tense. A lot of times people don't see themselves in the present tense, so unfortunately they change the words and it gets discombobulated and the mind thinks that it's for the future and it's not today, so it keeps putting it off and putting it off keeps procrastinating because that's what the brain does. What the I am affirmation does is pretty cool, is it actually presumes that you are this right now. Let's try a couple. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am grounded. I am peaceful. I am abundant. I am abundant. I am abundant. I am abundant. I am relaxing. I am relaxing. I am peaceful. I am in control. I am in control. I am in control. I am understanding. I am understanding. I am understanding. I am able to discern the way I need to be to be successful. Or just I am successful. I am able to understand the solution to any problem. Or just simple. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am abundant. I am creative. I am passionate about my job. I am, there's so many of them. I am inquisitive. Um, I am tenacious. I am respectful. I am peaceful. I am amazing. I am believable. I am creative. I am... Uh, let's see, um, I am fantastic, I am jovial, I am jolly, I am intrinsic, I am loving, I am special, I am amazing. I am powerful, I am persuasive, I am content, I am grateful, I am, uh, well, let's see, there's so many, um, I am at peace, I am intelligent. I am Oh, what's another one? There's so many. Um, I am tall. I am my perfect weight. I am eating healthy. I am safe. I am protected. I am in positive energy. I am, let's see, attracting abundance. I am, sometimes you get a little bit flustered trying to think of them. Uh, what's another, let's see. I am, uh, well, there's so many. I am full of sunshine. 
I am perfectly fit. I am loving. I am joyful. I am happy. I am relaxing. I am um, uh, I am understanding. I am uh, mesmerizing. I am astounding. I am Oh, I am. I am so many things. I am clear on my vision. I am respected. I am trusting. I am forgiving. I am gentle. I am tough. I am I might take a few minutes seconds, but you'll get the you'll get this. You can make a list that makes it easier. I am Oh, one I just want to really die for. I am grounded. I am I am, I am, I am. And sometimes you're gonna pause a little bit while you're trying to think about them and it will it'll really draw you in and kind of almost like trance you. I am peaceful, I am loving, I am understanding, I am respected, I am nurturing. I am caring. I am lovable. I am loving. I am safe. I am a good listener. I am great at whatever it is. I am great at my job. Or if it's something new you want to get better, I'm great at reading. I am great at time management. I am great at um, enjoying life. I am flexible to handle opposition. I am, you get the idea. I am, I am, you just keep saying I am. You can start with the letters in the alphabet. This sometimes works. Like, I am amazing for B. You can go through all the letters of the alphabet. Uh, the letter K, I am... K is a hard one. <laughs> um, uh, loving is easy. Um, P, I am popular. I am omnipresent. Well, that's kind of hard to be. Uh, <laughs> I am, meaning you really can't be omnipresent, but you can be, virtually you can be omnipresent. So you can have your uh, digital uh, presence other places. I am in control. I am enjoying life. I am the light of other people's world. I am happy in my own body. You getting the idea? So it doesn't really matter which specific ones you want, but think about the qualities that you want. And just like I had you doing the affirmations, this one's a little bit more powerful because what you're doing is you're affirming what you are now. Now, it doesn't matter what you may see, but you're affirming your it. Remember I told you about fake it till you make it? Well, the I am statements do that, and it reprograms your subconscious. So by you writing these out, just like you did the other ones, they're even more powerful than the ones we did the other day because the I am statements are basically affirming that is what you are today. 
okay? I am my perfect weight. I am flexible. I am great at math. I am living a healthy life. I am attracting friends. I am in the perfect relationship. I am married. I am always with people that care about me. I am respected. I am a great speaker. So you see, you can do a lot of these things. And we could spend hours going through them. But I think the most important thing for you to learn is that just like you saw me kind of just pausing, kind of like almost trancing, that's going to happen to you. So you could write down maybe five or six of the ones and then just kind of go through the IMs. And just like you're grateful for things, I'm happy in my home. I'm happy in my car. I'm happy at my job. I am happy all the time. I am... happy when I'm alone. I'm happy when I'm with others. So you get how you can throw these verbs in there? Uh, just the I am and just throwing something else in there. I am amazing when I do anything I set my mind to. So you get the idea. So your mind is going to start to latch onto these things. I am abundant. I am enough. I am fulfilling. I am speechless. That can happen, right? Um, I am grateful. I am enjoying life. I am a great skier. I am... Relaxing. I am happy. I am glad. I'm learning how to program my mind. I'm glad that I am the creator of my universe. Or just, I am the creator of my universe. It depends on what it is, but put some feeling into it. The I am statements basically take what it is you have and they affirm them as to if they're now. Let's think of a couple of real po positive ones and uh, real powerful ones. So I'm happy. I'm abundant. I'm successful. I attract other positive people in my life. But remember, remember the I am. So I am attracting. Don't just say I. I am attracting. That's the whole power of this, ladies and gentlemen, is you have to use the I am. I am this. I am my perfect weight. I am healthy. I am abundant. I am abundant in all areas of my life. I'm financially abundant. I am spiritually abundant, if that's what you want. Um, I am a great listener. I am a great problem solver. So whatever it is that you're having a challenge with, let's think of something today. Maybe you had a challenge today with, um, I don't know, Maybe you had a challenge today with um, a situation. And you could just say, I am great in these situations. Or I am uh, focused all the time. I am passionate. I am uh, desirable to everyone. I am a prize to others. I am a prize to myself. I am my best friend. I am grateful. And you can go through that whole list of the alpha, right? I am grateful for my life. I'm grateful for the sky. So you can just do the I am's, but when you, that's being grateful and those are good, but you want the I am's that are things like, I am, um, What's another I am that would be really, really good for you? I am healthy. I am 
Let's think of something really hard, something you really want to be. I am funny. I am intelligent, smart. I am witty. I am creative. I am uh, unique. I am forgiving. I am understanding. I am tolerable as long as it doesn't affect my well-being. So you can throw things in, but the simpler you make the I am statement, the more power it's going to actually have on your subconscious. So by you saying something like, you know, I am a great meditator. I am a great driver. Okay, maybe you're having trouble driving. I am um, a great cook. So any skill in your life, if there's just something that you're not good at, just change that. Change the belief and say, I am. And what's going to happen is you're going to slowly attract things that are going to make you better or make you that because that's what you are. And you're going to be magnetically attracting it. So I hope this was informative tonight. I thought uh, the I'm Affirmations was really important. And I know tomorrow is uh, Friday, so we'll have something on Friday, something on Saturday, and something on Sunday. I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do. But one thing I will tell you is that on Sunday, I'm going to teach you how to manifest, okay, using affirmations. I'm going to teach you how to manifest your desires very easily, okay? And I'm going to teach you one about how to manifest something that's very large. And I'll teach you that on Sunday. But for now, I just want you to just realize and really feel the power of I am, okay? Feel how it feels, the vibrations. I am wealthy. I am truthful. I am friendly. I am kind. I am respectful. I am understanding. I am forgiving. So if there's a quality that you wish you'd possess, just believe that you are that today and you'll be that because you are that. Just because you don't see it on the outside world doesn't mean that it's not happening, okay? Like I said to you before, what you have in your wallet or the way your life is today is not because of today. It's because of what happened 30, 60, 90, 180 days from now. So if you change your beliefs and you truly have the desire, the belief and the expectancy, which I'm going to keep pounding in your head every time I talk, desire, belief, and expectancy is what is the magical, let's call it, uh, secret ingredients to letting you be the you that you want to be, okay? I am my own boss. I am in control. I am a great director. I am a great runner. I am a great responder. I am a great listener. See, do you get the idea how this works? And see, your body starts to feel this and your mind starts to be like, hmm, I guess I guess we really are that. And so what happens is your, body, your brain gets a little tricked and then it starts to believe it. And when your brain starts to believe it, this is a good thing. Because you can make your mind believe things that are bad for you and things that are good for you. We want to get your mind to believe things that are good for you. A lot of times your brain picks up things that are bad for you because other people are programming you. I am um, only being programmed by myself. I am only receiving positive energy. I am only around positive people. I am a positive person. Okay? So these little things, the more you say them, let's just say the word, I'm going to try this one with you and just see how you feel. I am financially abundant. I am financially abundant. Just picture the money, picture just things coming right into you. I am financially abundant. I am financially abundant. I am financially abundant. Really feel that. I am financially abundant. Just feel the ring. I am financially abundant. I am financially abundant. Just picture the money. I am financially abundant. I am financially abundant. I am financially abundant. See how that is? I am grounded. I am financially abundant. I am grounded. I am financially abundant. Just as a nice flow. I am financially abundant. I am financially abundant. I am financially abundant. And it feels really good. Let's try the other one. 
um, where let's do the one we did financial abundance. Let's do forgiving. Okay. I am forgiving. I am forgiving. I am forgiving. I am forgiving. And excuse me, you can see how that actually works. Pardon me. Uh, how that works is that it is actually um, an energy that changes in your body. And when you start to say these things and you start to do things, the chemical composition in your brain and how the connections are made, it changes. It doesn't change overnight. I got to tell you that. But it does change. And as it changes, your body starts to adapt to it. So remember I told you, you don't get across the bridge overnight. But what you do do is you take little baby steps, one foot in front of the other, and eventually you do get across the bridge. And as long as you keep looking ahead, you ever been on a balance beam before? And um, maybe you're not great at balance. Oh, that's nothing. I am, I am balanced. I am great at balancing myself. I am great on the balance beam. So when you get on the balance beam, and they always tell you, don't look down. And the reason they say don't look down is they want you to just keep looking so your eyes just stay focused there. So if you're looking on a balance beam and, and, and you're focusing, the most important thing is that you keep focusing and that you stay balanced, okay? If you were to lose your, your sight, okay, and let's say you were to look down, the chances are you, you could fall. So by you being on a balance beam and you looking straight ahead, you are keeping the brain and keeping the body that I am safe. Okay, that's the most important thing whatever you're doing. I am safe, I am good at balancing, and I am safe. So when you get up on the balance beam, and maybe you put your hands out and you just sort of walk and you just keep having that mind. You just keep looking one foot. So you take one foot in front of the other. Just keep one foot in front of the other, one foot in the other. And maybe do it a little slow. Maybe don't, don't do it fast. And as you do it foot by foot by foot, as long as you keep putting one foot in front of the other, as long as you keep looking straight ahead and you keep believing and you keep knowing that you're in balance and you're just walking one step in front of the other, one step in front of the other, positive, one step in front of the other, keep walking, one step in front of the other, one step in front of the other, and before you know it, you're at the other end of the, the uh, balance beam or you're at the end of the bridge, and you're done. You see, every time we actually look back or we turn around, we actually have to take a step backwards to do that, even a half a step or a quarter step or a micro step. So if we took that micro step and we look back, we have to still go forward a little bit, right? So we always want to keep our eye on the prize. We always want to keep looking forward and staying focused on our vision. And this is why when you do affirmations, you put your brain into a state that is going to be positive all the time. And we've learned lots of tricks of how we can get our brain to be there through uh, different conditioning and the sense technique, senses technique, and also how you can put your body in certain states. We learned that. And the thing is this, the people that say that affirmations don't work are the people that are looking for that quick fix. They're looking for the answer in a second. They're looking for, you know, this magic wand to just come by them and just, you know, strike them. It's not going to happen. Everything in our life is gradual. And there's a reason for that. We want to gradually get to that step. Uh, like a homeostasis is what we call it, because we want to take our body from one point to another point, and we want to want to move that along so that our body doesn't really sense that much of a drastic change. So if you ever gone to, let's say, a hot tub or spa on vacation, and you get out of that and then you go into the pool, it's a little bit, it, it's it's a little bit cold, right? But if you go in the hot tub, and there's some places that have a hot tub, and you, you can go to the hot tub, and then you can go to another pool that, let's say, might be a little bit, a little bit not as warm, uh, not as, as hot, I should say, and um, you get to that, and so then you step down. So if you could imagine stepping down and then slowly getting into the water, what happens? It doesn't seem like it's so bad, right? So um, I'll give you another example. Let's say you're in a spa, and the spa is at a certain degree. It's, it's hot. And let's say eventually you turn off the heat. Well, the spa is going to start losing the temperature, but your body doesn't notice it so much because your body's adjusting to it. So what we're doing in hypnosis and, and all these different programmings for our mind is that we're taking ourselves from, let's say, one side of the balance beam to the other side of the balance beam. 
or think of it like a lock, you know, like a ship. I'm not sure if you know what I mean, but so a ship goes into a lock because there's one point of water that's, let's say, way up here. And there's another point of water that, let's say, is, uh, well, way, way down here and the other is way up here. So to get the boat from here down to here, what do you do? Well, you, you, you can't just have the boat come here and just, you know, fall. That would be a problem. So you take the boat into this um, closed chamber and this chamber you pull and they call it a lock. And the boat pulls into that lock, and then what happens is the lock closes, okay? Um, the other side, the, the one side closes, and as you're in there, you're going to see that the water, so we started, basically, we started here, okay? And we have to get up to here. So what the lock does is when you're, is it's going to raise the water, raise the water, raise the water, raise the water very slowly. And when the boat, when the water gets all the way to the top, when it gets to the level of the other side, it's going to open the other side of the lock and the boat is just going to sail out. Now, the same thing happens. We couldn't go from here right down. That would be a big, big problem. So that's what the lock does. The lock takes takes the boat and gradually progresses it down, up or down, so that it can match the gradient. Our body is just doing the same thing. We are just gradually getting to our goal. We don't flip a light switch and then it suddenly happens. Or, you know, we don't just, uh, let's say, snap our fingers and just a million dollars comes in. There's a little bit of a process. Now, it's not a long process, but there's a tiny bit of a process. And can you manifest things in a short period of time? Sure you can, absolutely you can. But you have to have the brain in alignment. So that's why it can take a little longer in the beginning until you understand the process. So if you have this multi-million dollar idea and you're working on it, but everything else is incongruent, then it's going to take you a lot longer to manifest that idea or even manifest it at all. But if you have everything and it's in alignment and you know what you're doing, you have your purpose, and you're staying on track with it, then your mind and body are going to produce that result pretty quickly. Um, and it's going to be very gradual. It's not going to happen at once. It's going to just be a very gradual progression, just like what would happen with the boat. So our body is in a way that we want to have gradual progression, just like with weight loss, um, everything is gradual. Nothing happens overnight. So because of that, our body just has to adjust to the level that we are at today and then bring it up to the next level, okay? Um, what do I mean by that? One example is if you are trying to be, let's say, lose some weight. So you don't go from 200, 300 pounds down to 150 pounds. That's unhealthy, okay? Okay but you do it gradually, and then your body slowly gets comfortable at that new level and starts to maintain that level. Same thing happens with your success. As your success starts to build, then you'll get more success on top of it. And as that success builds, then it's suddenly just like this, this water flow of success just happening in your life. And hopefully you found all this information very useful tonight. I think the IMs are really powerful. But I hope you understand that the IMs are just another great tool that can help you actually be the you that you are today, that you're just reprogramming to tell your mind that that's who you are, okay? So remember, if you want to be something, pick three or four or five things of what you are, because you, you already are those things. You just have to let your inner mind know, and then your outer mind will become in attuned to that. So, for example, you are already abundant. It's just your inner mind has to know that. And once your inner mind knows that, your outer body will start to produce the results that you'd expect. Uh, my name is John Morley, and I want to thank you very much for stopping by my channel today, Positive Vibrational Waves. Of course, if you did like my content, please be sure to click on the subscribe icon at the bottom right. You know I always appreciate that. And if you click on the notification icon at the bottom right, You'll be notified as soon as I publish new content here on YouTube. Again, my name is John Morley. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel, Positive Vibrational Waves. Please share it with your friends, your colleagues, your family, and anyone you feel in life that needs to improve the quality of it. Because I feel our life can always be just a little bit better the next day. My name is John Morley, and have a wonderful evening.